Hey, yo, 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 this is King Aaron coming to you guys live and direct. Y'all keep talking about a Charleston White. Let me give y'all some understanding. Y'all got to stop focusing on that. You know what's going to happen? Y'all going to let Charleston White rub up every civilian in the world to go against you. When you got every opportunity to make the people in your community and where you at, honor and respect everything that you got going on in a positive manner, though. All you gotta do is refrain from the crime. That's how you kill a Charleston White without physically killing him and going to jail for the rest of your life. See, cause I know what y'all thinking, y'all thinking silly, but I don't think this civilian cares about death at this point. I think he has a mindset where you have when you're in a negative form, that you don't care, you're gonna go all the way to the extreme. And yeah, he may rant on social media, this and that. I don't believe he's gonna tell on anyone. I believe he'll harm someone in retaliation of someone trying to harm him before he actually books somebody in. The reason why I say this is because the camera rants is a joke, but the activist part is 100% real. And what a lot of individuals are missing is, King Ernan understands the concept of his civilian mindset. And King Ernan has an understanding that in the world that we live in, there is no honor in the streets. So I'm here today to tell you that you're gonna lose if you continue to be in the streets, if you continue to hustle. Yeah, I can talk about how it's poison, but I can also tell you a set of people that love it and say it's not poison. So at the end of the day, all I'm saying to you is put it down. Let the day be your last rear. You wanna grab yesterday? Don't let that rat lock you up, man. Somebody ain't good around you. Don't go around him no more. Go ahead and take your little coins and invest in something, man, and let it grow. The same way you had to get in the game with the ball game and, and, and hustle hard or some of y'all was spoon-fed and given to, whatever the case, you've been through some hard times in the streets, and you might be going through them a lot more now being everything that's going on because you might have the bread but just don't want to spend it because you know if you spend it, it ain't going to come in as fast as it came in. It's going to go quick, super quick, quicker than it came. So y'all got to get an understanding and a mindset. Hold on for a second. How are we going to carry it? And I'm going to tell y'all, I got the blueprint. The blueprint is change your whole mindset around. Go in a different direction. You don't got to look no different. Just because you dress the way you dress don't mean you got to sell a drug or stand on the corner and shoot a pistol, man. You could go in a whole different direction. And guess what? You still going to be considered a man. You don't have to, that doesn't protect you in life. Because there's an afterlife for every human being. So it don't protect you. You see what I'm saying? It's only for the time being. It's like putting a band-aid over a scab and then you're pulling it off too early and all that moist there and you see the scab ain't coming, but it was damn near there. It's getting there, but it ain't there. In order for you to make that scab come, and it peel off and it grow back correctly, your skin come back honorably, meaning you go in a direction. The only way you're able to go in that direction correctly, 100%, is if you leave that band-aid on and that band-aid is irritating, man. It is. Because you got to deal with things like bills. You got to deal with things like the women that was around you that don't want to be around you no more. You got to deal with things like your family not may not loving you as much as they were supposed to love you but only because you got a dollar. Your dollar has disappeared. You got to rebuild that buck. So many people going to laugh at you, man. So many people going to say, damn, he down and out. But if you ain't dead and you got food in your refrigerator, how is you down and out? Mm. My head. But listen, how are you down and out? How? You're not. You're living. And in the king, when you go, if you got to go, guess what you're going to get? Three hots. And that kids die. You get a little visit here and there, and they take care of you, but it's a horrible take care of. It's very minimal. And guess what you're going to be still doing? Asking for money from the women that you claimed you love, that you didn't love, because your main squeezed and ran off. All the mistresses just stepped up and said, damn, let me go ahead. And then your few women that is left around that solid with you, you're going to go ahead and what? Turn your back on them. Because we don't have direction, we don't have focus. Civilians have that already. We gotta start getting an understanding to go in that direction. If we don't go in that direction, 
We're going to mess our mindsets up. And what we're going to do is you're going to wake up and some things you're going to be fair seeming with doing like what? Being a bum. You're going to be fair with that. Cool, ain't about nothing. I'm chilling. I'm relaxing. Ain't nothing. I don't care. If I just got the food in the fridge, I'm good. No, that's a bum. Get up and earn. Go out and support. Make sure you get a woman that supports you just as much as you support her. You ain't always got to foot the bill if you don't have it. She should be able to see you don't have it and say, baby, I got it. Just make sure you don't stay down too long where I got to continue to get it. King Girl Alive and Direct. Make sure y'all tune in. Like I said, you want to kill a Charleston White without going to jail for the rest of your life? Because you Don't think dumb. Go ahead. Change your life and never kill everything that a Charleston White is saying anything about anybody in the streets. That's it. Live and direct.